Hello everyone and welcome to Pick A Card Reading for today. In today's Pick A Card, we'll be looking at what will a tarot reader tell your person about you? For this Pick A Card, I'd like you to take a few deep breaths before picking one pile for your reading. And once you're ready, please pick a pile. So for pile one, we have the Rose Quartz, pile two, the Clear Quartz, or pile three, the Magnesite. Hello Pile 1 and welcome to reading on what would a tarot reader tell your person about you. So right off the bat Pile 1, I feel like a tarot reader would tell your person you're someone who's undergone some deep transformations. You may be someone who's had to spend periods alone in solitude to reassess your values, your priorities and undergo some healing. They will tell your person you're someone who is comfortable in your own company. Someone who is quite independent. You're someone who has built resilience over time. I feel like the tarot reader would tell your person you've been through some dark periods, which is why you're able to uplift yourself through difficult times. And I feel like with what you've been through, you may be able to assist, uplift others. The tarot reader would also tell your person, naturally, at your core level, you're very energetic. You have an abundance of positive energy within you. You're someone who can be quite exuberant. There's something very magnetic about you. And when you're in your element, you shine very brightly. They would also tell your person with the Five of Cups, you're someone who's had to work through your emotions. But they would say to your person, you're at the stage where you're releasing unhealthy emotions, baggages, and you're actively choosing to balance your emotions. They would also tell your person you're at the stage where you're creating new beginnings. With the Ace of Swords, you're someone who has a lot of ideas, you're very creative, but you're also practical at the same time. The tarot reader would tell your person you're a very inspirational person and that you also look out to others for inspiration. They would tell your person you're someone who is both left and right brained. They would also say you're someone who's grown over time elevated, risen above adversities and with this don't let your past hold you back Orca card, the tower reader will tell your person you're someone who works on letting go of the past. You may have been someone who may have been overwhelmed by past experiences, traumas, attachments. But they will tell your person you're working on releasing those attachments. You may be someone who is greatly influenced by your self node in your astrological chart. So you may be working in this lifetime to release your self node characteristics, traits, And with the you and your loved ones are safe, new moon and cancer, they will tell your person you're building stable and secure foundations for yourself. Underneath your sunny exterior, you're someone who's very deep, 
someone who is sensitive, emotional, and family, home is really important to you. You may have some prominent water placements in your later chart. Cancer may be quite prominent somewhere in your chart. So even though you are sensitive, there's this aspect of you which is quite protective of those you care for. You have an abundance of love within you. You're someone who is committed to those you care for. You're also very committed to the projects that are meaningful to you. And I feel like the tarot reader will tell your person you're stepping into this energy of love in your life. Unconditional love, higher love, or even romantic love for some of you. With the gratitude card, you're someone who's very grateful, someone who has seen difficult times, low times, encountered low times, which has made you more appreciative of what you've got. And because you are very grateful for the things you have, you're attracting more abundance into your life. And with the Two of Cups, a tower reader will tell you a person, you're balancing your masculine and feminine energies. And in a compatible union, you'll be someone who would be supportive, loving, and that you would make a great partner, a great lover. We've also got the Ten of Cups. So the tower reader will tell you a person, you may be looking ahead, looking towards this Ten of Cups, wanting a relationship or a family unit, a healthy family unit, a happy home. And perhaps for some of you, you may even be looking towards having a family of your own in the future. You're someone who's good at making a home safe, pretty, beautiful. You're someone with an eye for beauty. You're really good at beautifying your surroundings. They would also tell your person you're very attractive inside and outside. There's something about you that's very alluring, attractive. They would also tell your person you're quite comfortable in interacting with all walks of life because you see beauty in all people. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. So the tower reader will tell your person, you're at that stage where you're ready to pursue new solid foundations. Or perhaps you're on a journey to starting something brand new, which would lead to more opportunities in the future. But there's something about you that is about to take flight which is what they would tell your person. Some of you may be setting out into new territories, new ventures. So something about spreading your wings, exploring new things. Some of you may have recently received some new ideas, which could be quite fruitful. So overall part one, the tower reader will tell your person you're someone who's undergone some dark periods in your life. 
you're someone who has a depth of emotions within you and you're at the stage in your life where you're balancing your emotions to become more healthy within. Some of you may be fire signs, some moon or ascendant. That would also tell your person you're naturally a gifted manifester. You know what you want deep down. They may tell your person you are quite patient. You take your time in making a decision because you want to ensure that it's the right decision. You want to ensure you've made the right choice. They would also tell your person you're very inspirational, that you may receive downloads, insights from the divine. You're very connected to higher consciousness, to the universe. And for some of you, you may have a crow, raven, hawk as a spirit animal with you at this time. They would also tell your person you are ready for that union, for that deep union, that soulmate union. And that you would make a very good partner. Because you're reliable, you're loyal. And you have lots to bring to the table. So part one, that was a reading on what would a tower reader tell your person. I hope you've enjoyed today's reading. And if you have, please ensure to like, share and subscribe to the channel for more video uploads. Thank you for watching. Catch you next time. Bye. Hello part 2 and welcome to your pick a card reading on what would a tell reader tell your person about you. So after that part 2, I feel like the tell reader would tell your person you're someone who is a natural star. You're someone who stands out whether you're aware of it or not. For example in a group dynamic, you may be the one who stands out, sticks out the most. You could be the one who is the most unique one out of the group. You could be the one who naturally just shines. And for some of you, you may be the one who is the leader of a group. There's something about you that is quite different, eccentric, which is why you naturally shine. You stick out, you stand out. They would also tell your person you've undergone deep healing. You've transformed. You're like a butterfly. You've come out of this heavy dark period and you're now standing in your power. With the Six of Swords, they will tell your person you're moving away from turbulent times, difficult times, and that you're someone who is able to look at the positives in life. You're someone who's able to reinvent yourself. You're someone who is very realistic in your viewpoint. They would also tell your person you're quite sharp. You could be someone who's quite sharp when it comes to mental agility, mental intellectual pursuits. There's something very quick about you. You're very perceptive. 
they will tell you a person you're not easily fooled and that you're highly aware of your surroundings. Some of you may have penetrative eyes, eyes that can see right through people. And they would warn your person not to play games with you if they're interested in you romantically. Because you're someone who could easily cut out people out of your life if you feel like they're taking advantage of you. So they would tell your person that you're a no-nonsense type person. You dislike drama and you stay away from drama. This could be because you've seen enough drama in your life. And with the Son of Cups, they would tell your person you're ready to offer or enter this new cycle of emotional well-being, emotional abundance. Even though you may appear a bit distant to those who don't know you really well, you may appear aloof, uninterested, but you're someone who is highly perceptive and even though you may appear aloof, uninterested at first, it's because you have very strong boundaries. You're someone who needs to observe your environment and you're someone who needs to feel comfortable with someone before you let them in into your private life. And with the Six of Pentacles, they will say you're someone who's learnt how to give and take. You may have been someone who didn't accept compliments too well in the past. You weren't as open to new experiences before but they would say you're becoming more open more balanced in your outlook you may be more fairer in the way you approach life and allow people in they would also say you're a very good friend and that people can confine to you especially those who are close to you They will also tell your person you're highly intuitive, perceptive. A visionary. Some of you may be an air sign. Or you may have air sign placements which are quite prominent in your chart. Because you're able to cut through illusions. There's something very logical about you. With the adversity card, I accept that challenges are the best way to learn, tells the tower reader you're someone who isn't afraid of challenges and that you may be someone who enjoys challenges. You enjoy learning enjoy improving, developing. Also be someone who's had conflicts with other people in your life. Because of your strong character, people around you may not always agree or you may not always agree with those around you. So by airing your voice, your opinions, you may also appear as a challenge to others. But the tower reader would say, it's not like you are looking for fights, conflicts. It's just that you're a very sharp person. You like to air your opinions. You like to stand your ground. And you are quite vocal in what's meaningful to you. With the indecision, I use my intuition in all aspects of life further supports your tower reader's intuitive insight of you 
So if they would tell you a person that when you need to make a decision, you go within, you trust your own intuitive nudges. And that people may come to you for advice and insights due to this acute nature you have, acute ability to look at the broader picture, to zone into something. So you're good with small details as well as the broader picture. With the nothing set in stone, mutable moon, the tower reader will tell your person you're someone who's able to ride with the waves. And that your emotions are quite interchangeable. Even though on the exterior you may appear like you're not emotional, within you have a depth of emotions. It's just that some people don't show their emotions openly, outwardly. Some of you may have some kind of strong Aquarius placement in the nature chart. Aquariuses are very eccentric, dynamic, forward thinking. They're very groundbreaking. Their thinking is very forward, futuristic. The tower reader will tell your person you're not an open book. He may take some time to get to know you. But once people get to know you, you're someone who could be a friend for life. There's longevity. There's stability in your character. You're very anchored. You're very grounded. Even though that might not seem very obvious at first. Your dreams need a practical plan through moon in Taurus. So they would tell your person there's this ball-like vibe about you. That once you set your mind on something, you're very committed in pursuing what it is that you want to achieve. You're someone who can put in time and energy, effort into your plans. And that you are very connected to earthly, the earthly plane. They've also told your person you may be a tad stubborn at times. Because once you made your mind on something, you're quite fixed, you're unshakable, unstoppable. With the Three of Pentacles, they will tell your person you're someone who is balanced. You're also someone who, when you say you'll do something, you'll stick to it. You're someone who's very committed For example, if you sign a contract, employment contract, it will ensure that you perform, you deliver to the best of your abilities. In a partnership, in a friendship, you're someone who is balanced, very fair. You're able to give and receive. With the Three of Swords, they will tell your person to be patient with you, especially when it comes to matters of the heart. If your person is interested in you romantically, they will tell your person to take their time, allowing time to get to know one another. Because you're someone who appreciates honours your personal space boundaries. They may also tell your person you've been hurt in the past, heartbroken. So to get to really 
build trust with you, they would need to take their time. You would both need to take your time. And we have the Two of Pentacles. They would tell your person you're someone who has options. And that you may be very spiritual. Someone who believes in divine timing. And you may be someone who has many potentials, possibilities, opportunities in love. So part two. Tell reader would tell your person you're someone who naturally shines, you stand out. You're someone who is very perceptive, very focused, very driven. And you're someone who can see right through others. They will tell your person if they're interested in getting to know you, it would be wise to take your time, allow one another space, allow one another to open up naturally rather than be too forceful or expect things too quickly. They would also say that you're someone who likes a relationship to be equal, to be fair. Because you're someone who likes to invest in the long term. So part two, that was your reading on what would the tower reader tell your person about you. I hope you've enjoyed today's reading and if you have, please ensure to like, share and subscribe to your channel for more video uploads and thank you for watching. Catch you next time. Bye. Hello Par 3 and welcome to Pick A Card Reading on What Would A Tower Reader Tell Your Person About You? So right off the bat, Par 3, the tower reader will tell your person you're someone who is very quick in deciding. You may be someone who is very quick with your words, quick with mental activities. You may have a very quick mind. There's something about you that is very airy. You may have strong air placements in your nature chart. You're someone who is highly intelligent. Someone who could be a very good problem solver, analytical. If the Eight of Swords, they would tell your person you're someone who, because you're highly perceptive or thinker, you may sometimes overthink. But they will tell your person you're someone who is able to nip things in the bud. When you get to the stage of overthinking, procrastinating, you are aware of what needs to be done to come out of muddy thoughts. So your tower reader would tell your person you're someone who is able to resolve inner conflicts. You're able to set yourself free from limiting thought processes, patterns and behaviours. With the judgement card they would tell your person you're someone who may be spiritually guided. You may have received some kind of 
download. Or you may have even undergone some kind of deep awakening. But there's something about you trusting your instincts, trusting yourself. And that you may be someone who's guided by higher powers. You may be someone who believes in the power of prayer, the power of seeking knowledge. They would also tell you a person, you may have been someone who could be quite tough on yourself, because you're someone with very high standards. You may be quite self-critical, you may be striving for perfection, but there's something that's quite challenging about you. With the Father of Pentacles, they would tell your person, whatever happens to you in life, you're able to always find your feet, find your bearings. You're someone who is capable of building a nest for yourself. You are quite heavily influenced by earthly needs and wants. And that there may be a polarity about you. There's one aspect about you that is very flighty, very quick in deciding. But there's this other side of you that is slower in building. So perhaps you're quick in one area of your life. But in another area, you may be slower, believing in gradual progress. With the change card, I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. The tower reader would tell your person, you do have this aspect within you that likes to be on the move. You like to physically see progress. Not only are you mentally aware, intellectually aware of planning and taking action, you're also someone who likes to see visual improvements, rewards, concrete success. And you're also someone who doesn't like to stay stagnant. So they would tell your person that you like change, you like movement, and that your actions oriented. With the peace card, I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. They will tell your person that you don't like feeling stuck in conflict, you don't like feeling trapped, you don't like feeling held down. And that inner peace is really important to you. Having that clarity of mind and heart. It's a time to take action, new moon and Aries. They would definitely tell your person you're a natural leader of your own life. You may even enjoy creating opportunities And there's something about you that is very grounded, yet competitive. Some of you may have a leader role in your career. You could be a leader in your career. Or you could just be someone who people look up to naturally. Due to your self-assured nature, this inner confidence. So they will tell you a person, you're naturally very confident. Balance spirituality and practicality through Moon and Pisces. They will tell you a person you are becoming quite spiritual. 
a full card. With the full card, the tower reader will tell you a person you may be stepping into this energy of the full. You may be ready to embark on a new journey. Or you may be open to a relationship, entering a new relationship, starting afresh. They will say you're letting go of old restrictions, allowing new energy to enter into your life. And for some of you, the tarot reader will tell your person you're someone who has childlike traits. You're quite childlike when it comes to romance, love. You may be someone who believes in true love. It could be a natural romantic. And the Three of Cups. With the Three of Cups, you could be someone who is looking for union, unity, a sense of belonging. They would also tell your person you are someone who celebrates success, abundance, achievements and that you're someone who enjoys sharing your good news with others. And the moon card. With the moon card they will tell your person there's some things that you keep very close to your chest and it takes time to get to know you. You're someone who could be quite guarded, quite secretive. And you could also be someone who could have an abundance of emotions that you keep within. So part three, the tarot reader will tell your person that you're very sharp, intellectual, you love movement, you love taking action, you don't like feeling stuck, you could be quite private about your personal life, but there's this depth within you. They will also tell your person you don't like being in conflict with yourself or with others and that you're always seeking for the best outcome and in a worthwhile relationship you would be someone who would be willing to put in the time and energy they would also warn your person that you could be temperamental at times you may have a fiery nature about you it's because you're very strong-willed. You may be quite fixed in your thinking. So, part three, that was your reading on what would a tower reader tell your person about you. I hope you've enjoyed today's reading. And if you have, please ensure to like, share and subscribe to the channel for more video uploads. And thank you for watching. Catch you next time. Bye.